Hey there, everybody. Um, let me find what I'm looking for. I um, decided that I need a new keyboard. That's not the one. Let me find the right one. I decided I want a new keyboard, and the thing is, I think it's up there. I've been I've been an RM for a few days, so I've got um, a mechanical keyboard. It's got red keys in it, red switches in it. Sorry. Um, I used to have a, this is a sort of a, a, a cheaper one. I used to have a, a Rocat one, which was more expensive, which had rig uh, switches in it, which one of the switches started to play up, so I bought this one to replace it. And before that, I had one with blue switches in it, which is up there, you can't see it, uh, which all the keys still work, all the switches still work, but a lot of the LEDs stopped working. And so that's why I went to the Rocat. So I've had three mechanical keyboards over the past plus years obviously in the past when I first started using computers they were mechanical kind of then anyway but for a while I've decided I want to get um, a, a, a newer or better quality uh, keyboard one to replace the one that you know had a, a good quality one and I've um, been hard I, and the thing is I find myself doing a lot of work at home at the moment obviously and um, the amount of pressure to press down the keys and the actuation distance all that was, has, has suddenly started to make a big difference you know because the you know with this one I think maybe 60 grams plus if I'm tying my keys with 40 grams plus obviously my, my fingers aren't going to get so tired so um, I've been looking around trying to decide on the best ones and the best keyboard and I've been looking at some you know and you can go and pay 200 plus for a keyboard but then you only get a choice of maybe three different types of key um, and I've looked at some on, on um, a few of these, you know, Kickstarter and stuff like that. Anyway, I actually really liked the base plate, by the way, from one company in the US, but unfortunately, uh, that was really nice. Um, there was an issue with the aluminium feet because they were magnets and they could fall off, or when you move it, fall off. But I really liked it. But the cost of getting it into the UK was just ridiculous because you have to pay tax and you have to pay import charge and everything so it was, I, I'm not, I don't want to do that anyway I looked around and I looked at um, on Amazon this same um, this same base bare bone keyboard um, which is um, as you can see this glorious and uh, what it is you, you, you buy the, the basically the base okay um, so it's they're modular so modular key so you can actually put in uh, numerous different types of actual switch um, and and you know you get to choose so the idea is that I can specifically bespoke the keyboard to me and that's what I wanted to do so I went and I bought this modular uh, bare bones base and then actually uh, I'm denied about the different switches I was thinking of brands um, but actually I settled on which is slightly more expensive uh, bronze switches so these bronze switches um, uh, have a, a pressure of about 40 grams so probably 20 grams less uh, and um, you know they've got a, a nice quite a nice height and, and um, actuation distance on them also with a good lifetime uh, cave uh, apparently are very good um, so yeah, um, bespoken it to having bronze switches. I did check out there's so many more. The browns were about ten pound less. They didn't have any in stock, but about ten pound less. So um, actually doing some research on these, these seem to be much better um, switch for what I wanted. And I've gone for um, some Aurora keycaps, and I saw these. This was the first thing I saw. To be honest, I keep looking at the mic. I don't know how much we look at the camera. These are the first things I saw. I saw them on a. On, a, um, on Amazon but actually it was a copy of these it wasn't the same ones it was ones that were very the same uh, where you've got like um, half it's clip like a white and then the top half is just the you know the part with the um, the black kind of um, lettering on with it shown through lettering unfortunately they're US layout which means I'm gonna have to change my layout from UK to US but that's not a big issue um, I, I use a MacBook, which is a US layer anyway, so I, I just have to kind of switch my brain to that. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm bespoke building my own modular keyboard, and I thought I'd share that because obviously I've shared with you the change I've done for the monitor. I've gone to ultra wide, 
And so I thought, you know what? Let's share this kit, as it were. It comes to, I don't know, about 140 with a postage, which is probably average for a fairly decent keyboard anyway. Um, in fact, if I wanted to go for the ones I was looking at, there was an extra 40, 50 pound on top of that, to be honest. Um, but I wanted to share this with you, because I shared the, key, the, the, the monitor. I still have a few things I want to share with that, which I've not gone around to film in. My other stuff that I'm actually doing in the background, I'm thinking about doing some coding stuff because obviously that's what I do for a living, but I want to share the keyboard. So I'm going to build this keyboard. I'll, I'll hopefully share some of that build with you and then I'll do some videos on what it's like, what it sounds like, what it feels like and so on. So I just want to share that now, give you an heads up. Hopefully that should be in the next day or two and then we can crack on and get those videos done, which would be cool.